Hello everybody, Dave here from Trust Studios and today I'm excited to be reviewing this little this little connector here. It is a lightning connector so it fits an iPhone. Now they may have something for Android that's similar but in this case it will hook to an iPhone or an iPad and it has a card reader a regular size SD card reader and a micro card reader but it also has two USB ports. Now I haven't tried the USB ports to see if you could hook like other cameras to it for instance webcams or who knows whatever you could hook to it right that has USB it could be like some kind of a USB microphone, USB um, you know MIDI controller, uh, USB camera possibly I will, I will try that out at some point in the future, uh, but for now, guys, I am just so excited because I can take my card out of a camcorder or out of my um, camera and put it in here and get my photos to or from, um, from the iP iPhone onto the card or most of the time, in my case, from a video camera or a, you know, a point-and-shoot camera or some kind of camera. Uh, into the phone so that I could then, especially for shorts videos, um, I can shoot with a better camera or a different camera than the iPhone and then put the, uh, uh, put the uh, video or pictures in through this uh, USB uh, lightning, uh, lightning adapter. And this is a model, um, this is the box, it's kind of beat up, but this is um, model NK1032 and I will have a link to this little thing uh, in the description and um, I'm just so happy that I found this and figured out how to use it. It's pretty easy but I, I want to show you guys this is a review um, but I also want to show you guys how to use it because it's not um, you know completely straightforward. You have to know to how to go in um, to the um, iPhone or iPad and um, access this thing um, so we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to I'm going to take a card out of my camera. And we're going to actually see if we can um, how how you go about doing that. You know how you get the files from the from the card into the phone. Um, so yeah, so let's take a look at that. But um, I got to tell you, this is going to be one of my favorite things this year. And uh, sometimes it's the little things in life. You know what I mean? Okay, guys. So I want to show you exactly how this works. So I'm going to take a picture of this with this camera, with my point and shoot camera. And now we should be able to um, take the card out of this camera and access that picture through this card reader. So we just take our card reader out, put it in here, And then we're going to go to Photos, and we want to go to Import, and there you'll see it, right there. And then so if you want that one, you just, um, okay, select, and it selected it, and then you would just push the Import. Import import complete keep so you, you have the option of now deleting it off your camera card or keeping it it's already in your phone but you could um, take it off the camera card if you want to and so that's how easy it is guys now the thing I want to mention to you is you can do video but you have to keep in mind that um, iPhones don't support AV AVCHD, I think it is, certain formats of video. So you may have to convert your video before it will, if it doesn't show up, it's because the iPhone doesn't, um, you know, accept that format of video. But you can use this to transfer video. I've even done uh, 4K video with this little dongle. Um, so it works, it works really well. And I'm very happy with it um, because now I can get my footage from my camcorders or my point and shoot cameras onto my iPhone and I, I often wanted to be able to do that in an easier way I've sometimes emailed myself stuff 
all kinds of different ways to do it but this is you know this is going to be my my go-to way now I am excited to try out that USB thing but that won't be in today's review today I'm just reviewing it um, based on um, the, the camera card and um, so it has two USB ports out it has another lightning port out and it has the, the SD card and the micro SD card so quite a an impressive little piece of equipment. Well guys, even though I said I wasn't going to be reviewing this as far as the USB function, um, I did feel like I wanted to at least tell you what the package says about the USB um, connection. It says the USB interface supports USB flash drive, keyboard, and other normal USB devices device in market. It has strict current limit to ensure accessories could not be, could be used in your iPhone iPod touch. Please confirm the working current of the accessories is less than or equal to 500 MA. Otherwise the device will pop up a prompt that the accessories cannot be used due to high power consumption. So basically you know there are accessories like it's saying that you could use a um, you know a memory flash drive or a keyboard or other normal other normal USB device in market so it, it could be a lot of different types of USB things that you could plug in there light a keyboard um, as far as like I was saying a microphone or a camera um, I don't know the iPhone might need some kind of interface to do that or it might not work um, it depends on that power rating to less than or equal to 500 MA so just for you guys who are interested in it for, for that capability. And of course the lightning connector out, I would guess you could you could charge another phone or you could, you know, maybe you could transfer files that way. Not really too sure of that. This is, the review was mainly for me was that, that card function, the card reader function. But anyway, I wanted to let you guys know what, what the intended use of the, the USB ports were and what it was capable of doing. I love it and you can you can transfer 4k video through this thing and it's fairly quick because I did I did a couple quick clips just to see this morning um, for my shorts videos and it did very well even with 4k uh, files so wonderful little thing and hopefully um, you guys who have Android I'm new to Apple um, so but I'm sure there's the same thing for an Android phone um, not this device you know but you know an equivalent thing for Android but anyway I'll put a link in for this one and the company that makes this one. Um, you guys can take a look around. Maybe if you have Android, they might have uh, for both. But I highly recommend this one if you have an iPad or an iPhone because it gives you so much more versatility as far as, you know, being able to, uh, you know, get your camera card and get your photos in here or out of here. Um, I never, I didn't try it going out because I, I typically don't need to do that but I'm sure it, it works in some similar fashion. Um, what else can I tell you? I'm excited to try that USB. I will let you guys know in some future video um, if I can hook other USB cameras, USB microphones, that would be sweet, right? I mean, if I wanted to record with my phone and it was gonna be farther away than I was, but I could put a USB mic in and put the mic closer to me. Um, so there's lots of things that this thing could make uh, better. And, but the main thing for me was being able to get those pictures and videos um, from all my various cameras uh, into the phone should I need to. I don't edit a lot on my phone, but I do edit all my shorts clips and uh, sometimes my country drive videos. Uh, but it just makes it so much easier to have a device like this so you can do what you want to do uh, pretty easy. Anyway guys, with that I will say goodbye. I hope that uh, little review was helpful to you. I know I'm going to love this product and uh, I hope it helps you guys too to know that uh, this thing is out there and to know how to use it. Um, very easy, just go into the pictures. Like I said, when you go into your photos, you'll see the little import button down the right, down the, yeah, down the lower right hand corner. You click on that and it's going to be bringing you to the card. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. Remember, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.